Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be um, adding on to my Polaroid wall, which you can see behind me. There are 34 pictures up there right now. I think I made two videos last year, um, one of making it and then the second one of updating it. So I added the second row. And now I'm kind of going crazy and I'm going to be adding 60 pictures. So I think I'm going to have to scooch over my bookshelf here. Um, and add a whole nother like floor to ceiling row and I'll be going down the wall. So it should be interesting. I don't know how well this is going to work. Um, I already cut out the Polaroids there sitting on my bed. Um, and I'm just going to be using scotch tape because that seemed to be the best way that I hung them up in the past. So the first row, they're kind of curling, but I put one thing of command adhesive in the middle and then scotch tape around the outside. And um, they kind of, you know, separated. So the other ones are just like tape into opposite corners, which is what I think I'm going to do because it seems to work. It's been about a year, I think, since I did the second row. Seems to be doing pretty well like that. So I guess I'll do that. I'm going to get the time lapse started and start putting up the pictures. I finished putting up all the Polaroids. As you can see, it ended up making um, like four-ish extra rows, not quite four, but I'm really, really excited about how it came out. I really like it. I think it really adds to my room. Um, I'm hoping it's not too busy. I think it's fine though. Um, but I'm not going to be able to add on for many more uh, months because I've got like six spots left at the bottom of this row and then my shelf is in the way so we'll see how that goes but let me know what you think of how it came out um yeah and make sure to check out my social media at rosie revolts and my etsy shop also at rosie revolts and my book at ghettojoysbook.com and i will see you guys later bye